A Coast Guard crew searches for a boater who radioed in an unusual call. He reported his location was inside the seawall, near the dockwise in its $15 million cargo. The Coast Guard vessel is armed with the latest technology that will help them find the mysterious boat. We can use a direction finder if they talk on the radio for a long enough period of time. We can look at our direction finder to see uh, what his uh, bearing is relative to us. It sounds like he's right outside LA Gate right here. And if he is anywhere near the gate, we should, we should get a visual on him pretty soon. The elusive boater contacts the Coast Guard once again. This is the Coast Guard on channel 1 2. Go ahead. Yeah, this is 45, 29. And of it, as we're as they can, uh, we're safe and secure in San Pedro Harbor. Something's not right. If he's inside the harbor, the Coast Guard should be able to spot him. He's saying, now he's saying he's safe and secure in San Pedro Harbor. As the cranes approach the bridge, the Coast Guard continues searching for the boater. If he is safely moored, there are three possible marina areas where he could be docked. At any moment, he could decide to move into the channel and into the dockwise path. What, what is your location? Do you know your exact location right now? We're in the inside the sea wall. So you, you've already come inside to the, uh, the break wall? Hey, could that be him, 050? Off our bow? Yeah. This guy is all over the place. Hey, Sarah, this is the Coast Guard. Do you see a uh, white boat with a flashing blue light off your bow? Wow. The only thing I see on my bow is. Uh, it's not their guy. He's still out there somewhere. Then another boat appears on their radar, just 500 yards away. He's been telling us that he's 20 miles away. He's been telling us that he's inside the break wall and he's moored up. And uh, that he's coming in fast and he's taking up all kinds of stuff, so it's, it makes our job even harder when we're trying to locate someone like that. We don't know where they are, and they're passing bad information. They got up there, flashing their blue light at us. As the dockwise moves down the channel, Rabino discovers the bridge isn't his only obstacle. LA pilot, Dock Express 10. Dock Express 10, LA pilot. We're just about a beam of Burt 230 now, and there's a crane is still down at China Shipping. Could you give them a call, see if they can pick it up? Steady. Okay. Thank you. Dock Express 10. The crane poses a major problem for Rubino. Maneuvering this 11-ton ship down the narrow channel is difficult enough. Rubino needs to begin his turn while under the bridge. If he swings too wide, the crane and lowered boom arm could smash together. Here's the cranes of uh, China Shipping's berth. And you can see our cranes, and it looks pretty close there. B3, well, we're down to about the last uh, 500 yards and we're we're creeping ahead at about three knots about a fast fast walk the problems keep mounting for rubino traffic on the vincent thomas bridge hasn't been stopped uh, so they wanted to stop the traffic but uh, they look like they're still going stop two stop, stop two. both engines Dock Express to Port Police. Roger, update on uh, traffic. Okay, we're proceeding. Roger, give me one minute to walk it down. The Dockwise is at the bridge on time. But traffic still streams across. 
a crane boom is down. And our rogue sailor still eludes the Coast Guard. What is your location? Do you know your exact location right now? Captain Rubino. Go ahead, John. I don't know. It doesn't look that good from here. We'll see. 